In this video, I will explain how to parameterize the source and target object in Informatica Cloud. I have already logged into the ISS data integration. Let me go to the mapping. Click on source. As you can see in my previous video, I explained how to parameterize the connection. So you can see the parameters have been added here. What I'll do now, I'll create uh, <coughs> the parameters for the source and target objects. Go to parameters panel. Yeah, as you can see, I have already created param source table, param target file. Let me click on this. So what we will do is para create uh, while creating, uh, provide the name, param source table. Type will be data object similarly for file provide the name and type will be data object you might have remembered while creating the uh, parameter for connection uh, we used to mention here as connection but for object you have to select as object okay. now go to source To parameterize the object, click the drop down, select parameter, and in parameter, as we have created uh, the param source table for this Oracle object, select this. Now go to the target, click on target, target type select parameter provide the parameter name here param target file save the mapping now go to the mapping task whenever you update anything in the mapping the same should be reflected in the mapping task Click on edit, go to next, here in source, previously we use the parameter source file, uh, source connection, for source type we have to use uh, here, We have select the table. <coughs> so it will show what will records are there. Click on next. target also we have to select the target so as in this case we are creating the target during runtime we have to create here create target provide a name um, test person csv click ok Click on next. Okay, now finish. Now click on the task flow. The changes to replace uh, reflect here in this task flow on publish. Then publish it. We 
this. Whatever changes you are doing in mapping and task, those should be reflected here in this task flow. Otherwise, it will throw an error. Now go to the param file and add the parameters. Click on parameter panel. Copy the parameter. Paste here. We should add a double dollar. Similarly, copy the target file. Parameter name. And here. Double dollar. In our case, our source table name is EMP. Target table name, let's make it uh, file TGT EMP CSV. Okay. Now save the param file. Now we we'll run the run the task flow. <clears throat> yeah, the task flow is running now. succeeded let's see what we have used target flat file is pointing to flat file target test and uh, the target file should be file target emp let's go to target test yeah so we have selected uh, <clears throat> file underscore tgt underscore emp dot csv so file underscore tgt underscore emp it got generated at uh, one o'clock so in this way we can parameterize the source and target objects now let's do one thing i'll change the file name file tgt emp one two three Save the param file. Now I'll run the task flow again. So now the task flow is running. That task was succeeded. We provided the file name as file tgt emp123. Let's go to the target. As you can see, as we have already parameterized the target object name. So this time file underscore tgt underscore emp123 has been uh, generated. So now go to db. What I will do now. Yet table EMP one two three and select star from EMP. Okay, EMP one two three got created. I refresh this EMP one two three. It has uh, 15 records. Now, now instead of EMP, 
I will use EMP one two three. Or I'll do one thing. I will um, delete few records. As you can see, EMP one two three has nine records now. And this EMP one two three, I'll use and source object. Let's save the param file. I'll run the job again. You can go to the job here and restart from here also. Yeah, it's running. Yeah, the task class completed. Let's see what is our target file. File TGT EMP123. Yeah, it's so one o'clock, four minutes. So the file got generated. Now double click on this. You can see we have 10 records, including one header. So nine records loaded uh, to the file as we have nine records present in the source table. So in this way, one can parameterize the source table and the target table or file in informatica cloud thank you